October in our town always brought the promise of cool autumn nights and Halloween-themed adventures. The focal point of this excitement was a big fair set on a farm. As a child, I had frequented this place with my family, but this year marked a significant shift. It was my first time going with just my high school friends, and we were determined to make the most of it. We arrived one evening, a weeknight close to Halloween, at around 8 p.m. To our surprise, most families had already departed, leaving only a few groups of kids around our age. Despite the dwindling crowd, we had a blast playing the various games and exploring the fair's nooks and crannies. The moment arrived when one of my friends proposed that we venture into the infamous corn maze. Nobody hesitated, we were in the mood for a little thrill. We entered the maze as a group, but it wasn't long before we found ourselves separated. Three of my friends darted off in one direction, leaving me alone with my friend Micah. In the labyrinth and design of the maze, there was no hope of catching up with the others, so we decided to explore independently. For a while, Micah and I aimlessly meandered through the maze, enjoying the twists and turns. We didn't encounter any of the other members of our group, which made us question just how extensive the maze really was. As boredom set in, we shifted from getting lost on purpose to actively trying to find our way out. At each intersection, we'd split up briefly, checking for dead ends and strategizing our next move. But then, at one of these junctions, Micah didn't return. I waited for what felt like an eternity, at least two or three minutes, straining my ears for any sign of his presence. What had happened to him? The crunch of footsteps approached, followed by familiar voices. Relief washed over me, and a moment later, a burly man dressed in farmer-like attire emerged from the corn stalks. He informed me that the maze was closing for the night and that he would lead me out. I was about to explain that my friends were still inside when he assured me he'd already guided them out. This explanation put me at ease, and I followed the man as we weaved through a maze that seemed to stretch on endlessly. Strangely, the sounds of the fair grew quieter and quieter until they disappeared entirely. It was just the two of us in the eerie silence of the corn maze. We reached a dead end, and I halted, watching as the man pulled aside the corn, revealing a path forward. With trepidation, I followed his instructions, walking into the hidden corridor. I trailed closely behind him until suddenly, the corn vanished, leaving me standing in an empty field. Panic gripped me as I surveyed my surroundings, realizing that I had emerged on the opposite side of the cornfield, far away from the fair. Before me stood a car parked on the grass, its engine running, and its headlights illuminating the night. My breath quickened, and my heart raced. I took a step back, and that's when the man's intentions became painfully clear. He lunged at me, trying to grab hold, but I reacted swiftly, breaking into a sprint towards the road. As he pursued me through the corn, it felt like a never-ending chase. My hope was to make it back to the fair, where I might find help. I ran as if my life depended on it, weaving and dodging through the rows of corn, the menacing figure behind me. Finally, I burst through the maze and into the open, gasping for breath, with the relentless man still hot on my heels. I kept running, desperate to reach the fairgrounds. Luckily, my efforts paid off, and I managed to evade my pursuer. My friends were waiting for me at the entrance, puzzled by my disappearance. Micah explained that he had come back for me, only to find me gone. They were skeptical, not having seen the mysterious man I encountered until I called the police. In the end, the authorities found tire tracks on the grass, but there was no sign of the car or the man anywhere. It was a chilling and inexplicable encounter that left us all shaken and weary of returning to that once beloved corn maze.